first got involved with the Michigan Science Center when my science teacher thought that I would be a good fit for the junior docent program. But at first I didn't want to do it and I thought it was going to be really boring. I did not like science in elementary and middle school, but once I got involved with the Michigan Science Center, I became much more interested in science and I learned how to integrate my science with English, which was my favorite subject at the time, so it made everything a lot better. My favorite exhibit at the Science Center is the giant heart because there's so much for you to learn just by looking at it for even just a few seconds. How the heart works and with the aorta and the ventricles and how it pumps everything to the body and I also learned about the MRI machine, magnetic resonance imaging and how that works with taking the H2O molecules in your body to take a picture. She loves the Science Center. She loves every aspect, every part, every exhibit every little thing about the Science Center and helped her bring out more abilities that she had hidden that she wasn't really focusing on. It has changed the way that I think about what I want to do in the future. I want to be a pediatric cardiothoracic surgeon, so I've been involved in different medical programs and just learning a lot about biology and human anatomy. The things I've learned here have helped me influence my younger sister to love science, and I think that's really good for her because she's seven, so by the time she gets to high school and middle school, she'll already be really good with science. Even though they're eight years apart, they both had in their mind that they want to be doctors. Gabe wants to be a pediatric cardiothoracic surgeon. Gage wants to be either a people doctor or an animal doctor. There's so much for you to learn, and there's something for everyone of all ages, and there's no limits to what you can learn while you're here. When we visited the Michigan Science Center, we had an understanding of what was going to happen. We pre-planned with going through our content standards, but we didn't know the depth that the Michigan Science Center would cover those standards. When our students visited, what impressed me most was the variety and level of activities they were able to participate in. When we first arrived, students were amazed at all of the hands-on experiences they were able to have. Multiple content standards were taught in different ways because students could experience either human interactive classroom experiences, hands-on experiences, or digital experiences. The experience at the Michigan Science Center helped kids make real-world connections because they had out-of-classroom experiences. They were able to realize and become aware of the fact that they weren't learning just to take tests, they were learning to make differences in the world. For part of the trips, we were able to give them some facts and some information and some questions that they were able to take to the Science Center and build upon. However, when they returned to the classroom, they could take that knowledge that they gained to bring it back to our content standards and our curriculum and deepen their own learning. Kids came back talking about the hands-on experiences the most. They enjoyed the freedom of walking around the Michigan Science Center and participating in a variety of activities that required a variety of skills. They liked the experience of going from floor to floor to discover new things. And then they also liked talking about the new things. And they talked and they talked and they talked. The Michigan Science Center impacted me when we were learning about the meteors. I wasn't at all interested in the Meteor Project. I thought it was very interesting, but when we came back from the Michigan Science Center the first time we went, um, and when we came back from watching the short film in the Science Center, I was very interested to see what meteors had impact, how meteors had impacted Earth. Me and my friend actually had a challenge to see which, uh, how we could make an air and water bottle propel it the highest and we had to combine air and water molecules to create the most pressure and make it go the highest. So I thought that that was really fun because it was interactive and we were able to learn a lot of physics using like combining the air and water molecules to shoot it as high as we could. And also we were able to like reflect on a lot of the activities which we did there. We were able to discuss it, research, and with our friends we were able to figure out what was, what was the science behind these things. And actually at the museum they had a lot of information about us, so we were able to learn a lot through these exhibits and it really impacted our knowledge and our interests. And the next day when we came back to class, we had, we had this whole new area of knowledge and we were able to bring it to class, discuss it, and apply it. And it was just really good. 
I actually went to the Science Center as a child, and my husband did as well, and he told me that the Science Center had a camp that we should explore for our children. My children are seven and nine years old, Ray and Elizabeth, and they were not as interested in science before going to the Science Center. That summer camp was amazing. My children's level of excitement changed after going to the Science Center because they had hands-on experience and they enjoyed all of the exhibits. Elizabeth enjoyed the planetarium and Ray loved the exhibits and getting engaged with science. We had the Traveling Science Program come to an off-site organization because my children kept asking if their, all of their friends could go to the Science Center. What impressed me most about the Science Center was the confidence boost that both my children received after attending. Both my children actually excel in school, in uh, science and in math, and they were really interested in learning what was in the books after the science experience because they knew that they could uh, put it into action.